Now, let's look at an object that we are going to rotate. Uh, I have a glass tube that I want to rotate, and in the glass tube I have a marble. The glass tube is very smooth. I have here the glass tube. Here is a marble. I'm going to rotate it in this direction, say with some angular velocity omega, about an axis perpendicular to the blackboard. So the, the marble here has a velocity like so at this moment in time. But it's a very smooth glass tube. And the marble is very smooth. The glass cannot push on the marble, nor can the glass pull on the marble. Now the marble gets desperate because the marble needs a centripetal acceleration in this direction in order to go around like this. But there is nothing to provide that centripetal acceleration. So the marble is doing exactly the same that the planets would do if you take the sun away, the marble continues to go in the direction that it was going. So by the time that the tube is here, the marble is here. And by the time that the tube is here, the marble is there. So the marble finds its way to the edge. And that's, of course, the basic idea behind a centrifuge. My grandmother had always, she was a great lady, and she had such fantastic ideas, I remember. And when she made lettuce, we had no good way of drying the lettuce. And I would take the lettuce and go like this, paper towel. She had a method of her own. She took a colander. And of course, first of all, we would wash the lettuce. That goes without saying. I would wash it once, my grandmother would wash it three times. But that's what you have grandmothers for. So there comes the, the lettuce. We were also very fond of spinach. So add some spinach. We would wash it. There goes the spinach. Then she would take something to cover it up, maybe some saran wrap or something else put it over it, and put a rubber band around it to hold it. And now what she's going to do, she's going to swing it around. And now the water is like these marbles. The water will work its way to the edge, but there are holes, so the water will come out. Isn't she clever? OK, I'll give you a demonstration. Be careful, because you may get some water on your lecture notes. But I want to show you the, the basic idea behind it. It's very in interesting. So she would go out. She would do this outside, by the way. But uh, I have no choice, so we'll do it here. So there we go. <laughs> you see, this is the way you dry. Oh, I lost my magnetic strawberry. That's a detail in the process. So. You end up with you end up with dry and clean and nice lettuce. This is 801 at work, and this is clearly an early version of a centrifuge. Now, my grandmother's method, very tragically, has been replaced lately with something that you can buy at Crate and Barrel. We have it here. Um, it is very boring. It's very decadent. Put the salad in here, and all you do is you rotate, and it dries. It's a centrifuge. This, this is actually a high-tech version of the much more sophisticated invention of my grandmother. And, <laughs> and it's nowhere nearly as exciting. The days of romance are really over. But that's the way it goes.